facial hair has always been a fascination of everybody in the yeah. McFan family. Our dad has always had something going on. Yep. I had a neck beard for a while. That was also gross. Now we've been taking our time, got the right combs, got the right oils, you know, really doing it right. For this Chef Talk with Kyle Cherrick, I catch a coffee with Jonna Froelich of ID in the Delafield Hotel. Uh, she's got a style of cuisine that is really just a testament to her path, her lack of ego, her interest in flavors, and her ability to cook and lose herself in them. It's Chef Talk with Kyle Cherrick and Chef Jonna Froelich at the ID in the Delafield Hotel. All right, full disclosure, I grew up out here. And there are a lot of wonderful flavors that were part of my youth and formative years. None of them spoke directly to an identity within a groovy boutique hotel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So what, how do you build around that? What are, you, are you trying to represent some sort of space out here? Or are you just trying to say, I like to cook in season and I'm going to make it really great? I'm going to say I like to cook in season. And I think what... What hopefully works about the restaurant and how it will progress is because it's shared plates mm -hmm. and it's randomly inspired. <laughs> there can be changes whenever I You mean you get a them. ticket and you're like, I don't want to make that. Let's just do this instead. <laughs> Put it in the garbage. There are, I mean, you way. go to Joie. Hey, it's not easier, far but, from yeah, that. That's yeah. true. <laughs> um, and I think it, it you know, and I, I don't think we're, we're not out there. It's all very familiar types of foods. Yeah. Just maybe opening some opportunities for people to get out of their comfort zone in this area a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then the way I look at it, if it's share plates, 12 bucks, you try something new, you don't like it, no biggie. You have just like worked at all these legit places, done the right thing, worked for some great chefs, gone your own path, opened places yourself. You're not, you're not chasing the celebrity, the dream, the... If no. I could just cook what my ego's food tells me, sort no. of deal. No, as a matter of fact, I really like. I really believe that cooking is not about the ego. Like the reason I love it is because it's a place that you can go where you sort of like forget about yourself and your cooking. You know. I I do. And hopefully, as a chef. I'm able to have a kitchen where I can get my line cooks to get to that spot. That's what's awesome about cooking, you know? It's like being there and all of a sudden it's six or seven hours later and you're like, man, what just happened there, you know? You're a woman. I am. There are not as many in this career as there are men, just a fact. There aren't. What do you, and I'm, no judgments, I've asked this question with slants and all kinds sure. of different angles. But like, what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. Um, I don't know what my thoughts on that are. I mean, it's just sort of a matter of fact, right? Yeah. Like, there aren't as many female chefs as male chefs. Is it? I'm sure for some people, it's the the demands in the hours of the job. Um, you I know, think I'm, I'm a firm believer that you can't really have it all in this life. So you need to sort of pick where you want to put your, yeah. you know, put your energy. Um, so the trade-offs are, everybody makes their own trade-offs, right? Can't have it all, even if you could, where would you put it? Right. Is it hard to keep the stamina up? You've been cooking a long time. This is one complaint no. that I hear. No. Mm -mm. I think it, it, well, it all depends upon sort of imagination and what situation you put yourself into. You know, I always say like this job could be the worst job in the world if you're not in the right situation. There's so many different versions of being this type of, you know, being a chef or being a cook. And I think one of the challenging things is in your career for anybody really is sort of figuring out who you are mm -hmm. and knowing how to put yourself in, in the right situation that's going to um, keep energizing you, you know. Please. Heard that. 